Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design elevated, reinforced concrete slabs in RAMP concept. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed our preliminary calculation, and we're ready to review our analysis results. Specifically, in this particular video, we're going to take a look at our load case reaction plans and understand how that information is calculated. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and point your attention to the load case criteria, which is available through the criteria menu bar item. Now what you're going to notice is that on pattern and off pattern factors for each of the live load cases has been specified. Pattern loads in RAM concept is basically our way of asking the program to skip load the live load around your columns. You can set up your pattern loading through the layers menu bar item and then accessing your pattern area and RAM concept allows up to 10 patterns. Now that we've reviewed that information, let's go ahead and take a look at those reaction plans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the layers menu bar item and go to the loadings folder. Again, here I can see all the load cases that were defined. For this video, I'm gonna take a look at the reducible live loading. And you're gonna see I have three options here. I have the standard reactions plan, the max reactions plan, and the min reactions plan. So let's try to understand the difference between these so you know what reactions you're getting out of the program. First, let's go to the standard reaction plan. Now this plan will report the reactions with the full applied loads, meaning that no pattern loading will be considered. In addition to that, we can also access the maximum reaction plans for each load case. Now this will report the maximum reactions that occur considering each pattern loading complete with your pattern factors and the full loading. Finally, let's take a look at the minimum reaction plans. Now this will report the minimum reactions that occur considering each pattern loading, complete with pattern factors and the full loading. Now at this point, this concludes our process for being able to review our analysis results, specifically where it comes to understanding the reaction plans that are available for each load case. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.